right here on the ocean. It's my first time on the ocean in the Epic V8. My buddy David bought this boat and he thinks I'm delivering it to him. Or he thinks it's sitting on my uh, Don't break it. truck right now. Don't break it. Yeah, actually I did ask him if I could take it out in the ocean. He told me if I broke it, I bought it. I don't know where he gets that kind of crazy talk from. But uh, first impressions. The boat is uh, definitely shorter than the V10 Sport. It tends to wallow a little bit more than this kind of this kind of water here. It's kind of got some chop to it. No bumps or anything, but honestly, that could be because this boat has the weedless rudder in it. Uh, so that rudder is not reaching very far down into the water column. So first impression is. So it's a wide boy. I don't want to say girl. That wouldn't be. <laughs> it's a boat, yeah. It's a wide girl. Um, yeah, so it's very. I mean, you're not really. You're not worried about falling over in it. Um, I'm still clearly, you know, quite a bit faster than Barry is in his R's. <laughs> clearly. No, we'll see during our interval. I suspect. I'll have trouble during the intervals <laughs> today keeping up with Barry in the Aries. So uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, we're going to finish our warm up, do some intervals, and then try to catch some bumps on the way back. GoPro, stop video. All right, we are uh, halfway through our intervals today. What we're doing, uh, kind of a, a race peak week type thing for an imaginary race this weekend trying to periodize our training but we're doing a 90 second interval at about a 13 mile race pace uh, the same race pace we would go if we were doing the graveyard uh, Carolina Cup graveyard race yeah 12 miles yeah 12 miles 12 mile race okay I, I tend to make it 13 somehow well it could be <laughs> the tide is low right so um I have to say right now I'm really surprised at how the V8 is doing. Um, typically, in the sport, in these intervals, I can get out a little bit ahead of Barry in the OC1. Um, I really thought this would be a slower craft out here, and it's not turned out to be that way so far. Nope. I mean, it's a. Uh, I'm gonna try to change that on this set. Gonna try to change it this set. We'll yeah, see what happens. Let's keep the camera rolling because we'll see. But I'm, so far, I'm a. Uh, Zero is your three. I feel like a challenge has been issued. We got uh, 15 seconds. So we'll see what happens this time. If I throw up, make sure you get it on. Oh, for sure. We got 10 seconds. We got to aim, yeah, straight out. Straight out, yeah. See how I've already gotten ahead of you? <laughs> Ready? Go! Holding 7.4 miles job, an hour. Now, I was working hard. I was right at my Woo! right up end of zone four. Every single time I changed sides, I would lose so like two feet. You're saying that for sure. Oh uh, yeah, this advantage is a double bladed paddle. But still, but still, you beat me. You beat me more that time than the first three. So I, you know. This is kind of messy, at least for me. Yeah. This is hard water in, in the surf ski. Because mm -hmm. it's just really, I know it looks flat in the GoPro, but it's, yeah, that's bumpy. it's just bumpy and unpredictable. I think it's the main thing we got. Yeah, we got two different smells mixing up right On shore now. coming this way, and then there's a north, kind of north-northeast swell coming in yeah. as well. It just makes things kind of messy. When I first got in the V8 Pro, it felt like it was wobbling around a lot. Or the V8, it felt like it was wobbling around a lot, but I do have a weed rudder on here, so it's a little short rudder. It just felt like it was wobbling, but I'll tell you that what's happening is I don't, I never have to brace. That's like awesome. It's, uh, 
so you're getting good strokes every single time. I feel like I'm getting full power out of every stroke. Yep. You know, as long as I do the stroke right, as long as I don't mess it up, it's certainly not the boat throwing me off. So uh, it feels really comfortable. And once you get used to kind of the, the roly-poly nature of it, um, compared to the V10 Sport, right? But it's, uh, I don't know, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised. Well done, Epic. If you're still watching the video at this point, you're probably interested enough in the V8 that you know the standard specs on, on the ski. Uh, 18 feet long, 21 and a quarter inches wide, has your bow and stern carrying handles, which I really like a lot. Uh, I have those on the V10 Sport as well. It makes it great for getting the ski to and from the water on windy days. You've got your, your standard Epic flip-flop holder at the front of the cockpit, adjustable foot brace, which is really nice because uh, their foot braces now, they flip up so that you can adjust the foot braces while you're in the ski. It makes it very, very easy to adjust on the water. Uh, the V8 does have a water bottle holder in the cockpit, which is nice. Also has the cockpit handles, which I really like a lot, especially on the wider skis like the V8 and the V8 Pro. It makes it very easy to pick up that uh, surf ski and get it out of the surf before a, another wave comes in and, and beats you up or sucks your ski back out to sea. The V8 that I review here is in the performance layup. I believe that's at 34 pounds. It didn't feel like a heavy boat. Uh, it didn't paddle like a heavy boat, it paddled really well. I really thought this was gonna be a tub. Um, I thought it was gonna be like paddling a bathtub compared to the to the V10 Sport, uh, which is what I normally paddle. I thought it's, it's a bit wider, it's a bit shorter, and I really thought, and on flat water, you can, you can feel a little bit of difference. It doesn't slice through the water as much as the V10 Sport does. But as you heard earlier, stability equals speed. And I was shocked at how, how fast this thing was in, in choppy water. And it's, it's simply because I was stable. I didn't have to spend, I wasn't losing any power uh, by bracing, having to interrupt my stroke to brace. So when it comes to speed, I, it's, it gets another thumbs up. Again, it's not, a, it's not gonna be a V14, right? If you're, if you're a elite paddler, you're not looking at a V8 anyway. But if you want to race your surf ski, this is the, the Epic V8 is a surf ski. It's not, uh, it's not a, a sit on top kayak. So it, it's got good speed. All right, ease of remount. Now it's, it's very easy to remount. Um, I actually found it harder to remount than the V10 Sport simply because it's wider. It took me a little bit to kind of figure out, okay, I've got to really heave myself up and over this thing. Uh, but once I figured that out, I mean, once you get your hips into the cockpit, the, the extra width um, over again, I, and I hate to keep comparing it to the V10 Sport, but that's what I paddle most of the time. But the extra width of the V10 Sport makes it very, very stable. So once you get back into the boat, get your hips into the boat, you're good and stable. So I wanna finish up by sharing with you, in my opinion, who should get an Epic V8? Now definitely beginning surf ski paddlers, I think it's a great choice. Uh, it's stable enough that you're going to be able to stay in the boat most of the time, especially on flat water, but it's, it's uh, enough of a surf ski. You know, it's not a kayak in disguise. It's enough of a surf ski that it gives you something to grow into, to paddle into and build your skills. And once you build your skills in the V8, I don't, I think you'll want to keep this boat, um, especially if you start taking it out on the ocean. So that's probably the second category of paddler who would be very interested in the V8 would be the developing paddler who wants to get out onto the ocean, wants to paddle in rougher water. You'll really appreciate the extra stability, that, but you still have performance because it is a surf ski. So to sum things up, well done Epic. Uh, good V8's a, a good solid choice. It's definitely a boat that I would recommend to anyone who's starting out in surf ski. As a matter of fact, that my buddy David, you may have already seen that video, uh, that's what he chose as his first surf ski. And uh, I think it's turned out to be a, a good choice based on the, on the text messages and the photos I've been getting from him lately. So well done, Epic. If you have experience with the V8, uh, we'd love to hear what you think. We've already had comments on other videos, people talking about the V8 and what a solid choice it is, but I'd love to hear your comments below. So share with us. Let us know what you think of the Epic V8. GoPro, turn off. GoPro, turn off. GoPro, turn off. GoPro, power off.
GoPro.